Gal show is ghetto. Allegedly. The world's finest man. The Ghetto Ways Morning Show. <laughs> With Johnny Domino and Big Data. This ain't this ain't petty court. I'm just advertising. We need a couple more cases. Ready. Good morning, good morning. Thank y'all for tuning into the Getaways Morning Show this morning. I got a special guest in the building. Good morning, good morning. The one and only. Miss Shay Marie. Shay Marie in the building. Now you see when you get closer to that mic, you can hear it better. You can hear yeah. yourself good. <laughs> That's why the pastors be having that mic right here. Oh well. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Shay, thanks for uh, filling in for uh, the the biggest Dana. I'm finna rip of my course, robe, of man. Can't do it like big Dana, have, but you know I can do what I can do. I don't have robe etiquette. I'm about to rip this mother. Okay, I popped one of my buttons off this morning. But... Oh, that's a normal thing for me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what, Shay, what are you thankful for this morning? I am thankful for life itself. It's, Amen. It's, I mean, it's crazy what we live in in Iraq, but <laughs> it's a beautiful thing here. Baton Rouge is Iraq? Definitely. Shit, shit. I see a woman got shot last night. I'm praying for everybody. Like, man, man, man. You, you know, they don't even understand that they're messing up the economy. I agree. Because, like, if you throw something in the crime bag, like, party promoters ought to get on this no crime thing, too, because that's messing up your money. I agree. If, if Depending on where you have it at or, or, or where you're going... I don't want to go outside, man, because, you know, I'm not trying to go turn up at a party and get shot. I like money showers, not bully showers. <laughs> this morning, I'm thankful for uh, uh, growth. My whole mindset different, Bob. Like, I love that for you. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm so, I'm, I'm proud of my damn self. Like, for real, the transition and the growth, I'm proud of uh, where God then brought me to, man, because I ain't going to lie. That's why I be talking to y'all. I was just as ignorant as you, nigga. Ooh, woo. Don't know. Man, bro. And it took me a while to catch on, but, man, if I didn't survive, I wouldn't be here to tell you about it. See, any nigga that's still talking that old crazy-ass shit, he ain't been through enough. That's what it is. That's what it is. It's going to take for them to really get their head knocked off for them to put the head back on right. And then it's too late. It's too late. Me at the crossroads. And you know, this the this the era where people could see dog like for real, like <laughs> it ain't no more good, Bob. If twenty people go to jail, how many of them tell you? Nineteen. Nineteen and a half. <laughs> <laughs> I done seen the plug uh, tell on the niggas up on them. This shit crazy. I don't want no more problems. I don't man. want no plug. Man, look, this is what we on the look for. We looking for the nigga who teach a business credit. Where you at? Done. Hit my DM. For real. You following that motherfucker for everything else? Yeah. Following that motherfucker with some game. Right <laughs> now, Bob, what you was saying? Tell me that thing you said the other day about putting the, under the wing. A lot of people, I'm not even going to say men because they have some dumbass women too. Yeah. A lot of people in general are so caught up on trying to put somebody under their belt before trying to put them under their wing. Like, you don't know nothing about this person. This might be the biggest asset of your life, but you ain't looking at the assets. You looking at the ass. Yeah, they... Are you looking at, oh, she said he got money, so I'm going to see if I can bag him. Bag him? Right. He might not even have the bag you think he got. No, 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 no. Because <laughs> a nigga who leave with money got the less of it. Listen. I'm telling you. And another thing, just because they have money, they don't mean they're giving it to you. For real. For <laughs> real. And check this out. People who really have money, they be trying to hide it because everybody asking right. for money. Baby, I want All you got to do is check a nigga family. Like, if that nigga don't answer his call, his phone like two, three times, he be like, I ain't got it right now. And you just seen that nigga buy a buku shit? Mm-hmm. You got to get your lie on that time to keep your bread. Mm-hmm. I agree. Yeah, I would never put no money to my ear or... That's be doing it because my phone gonna start blowing up. Or the money right here? Yeah. I that, hate it. Yeah, that's how you know they ain't got it. I be waiting on something to fly out too. Because once a nigga done ask you from the corner store <laughs> to your to grandma house, your cousin, pooking them, the nigga next door, 
Then you two of your cheering and call. <laughs> <laughs> they friends want some money. <laughs> I wish I would spread some motherfucking money on his. Mm-hmm. I'm broke. That's my story. I'm sticking and to I'm, it. And I'm definitely sticking to it. I'm hoiding. <laughs> People that got money always hurt. I'm hoiding, man. It's tight, baby. That's why I be, you know what pissed me off? Anybody that spread like $1,500, I'll count that out yeah, on Yeah, because I just counted it. You talking about your, the mortgage, the, the, the rent, mm-hmm. the light, mm-hmm. nigga? Nigga, don't put that shit, that little, put that little shit up. Go get my ski man's out the trunk. <laughs> <laughs> Let me take next month uh, bill. <laughs> Clearly, you ready to contribute. 1500 ain't that ain't even a starting point. That, that'll keep a nigga off the street, but we might not have lights and water. You definitely not going to have no lights and water. Yeah, oh, man, put that little shit up and carry your ass <laughs> to work trying to impress a fool. That's all you going to impress. Trying to impress somebody that don't have it. I got less than 1500 Mm-mm. Not it's gonna, bad. Not gonna happen. Not on duty. Yeah, box. So what's been going on in life, man? Tell me what you got going on. Well, as for me, I have been on this soft journey because y'all know I could be weather. <laughs> I could be DMX. <laughs> what? <laughs> and I'm trying to be ever man. Right for my dog. Yep, but uh, all in all, God is working on me too because I'm nothing, nothing, nothing like the old me. A lot of things that I would have snapped about, I didn't. Yeah. Prime example, when I went to McDonald's and I sat in that line all the time just for ice cream, yeah. I was waiting on him to say the ice cream and shoes was down. You start, but God was like, nope, I'm going to make Your this eyes just started twitching while you were saying that. Because why is I always that? <laughs> I didn't even flesh out when I got to the window. I was polite and I didn't throw nothing at the car in front of me. So, God, thank you. Man, I'm telling you. And look, I'm going to tell y'all something. Man, you you know when you go on a cruise and everybody like sweet and nice? That's mm-hmm. this the best service I ever had. I don't know about you been on a cruise? I haven't, but I've heard all good things Man, about Man, the people there, like, it's like it's their last chance to be nice or something. Like, they are nice. <laughs> they must have got trained at Chick-fil-A. <laughs> ah, they all singing and dancing like the Disney motherfuckers. Like, oh, da, da. you want more? And then you eat, you just do whatever you want on the boat. I'm like, Adderall. Man, it, 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 it's a little hot. It, it's happier than Adderall. It's kind of like, it's kind of like Adderall because they be up and alert, but it might have something else that's just happening, and I don't know what. And, and, and kids don't do drugs, but these people, they like Chick Fil A workers times twelve. Oh, that sound like yeet yeet Molly water. <laughs> <laughs> that what it sound like. <laughs> <laughs> so if you know, you know. If you know, you know. Everything good. <laughs> His arm fell off. It's okay. Don't even worry. We can sew that back on. <laughs> Man, I'm telling you. See, that's how we got to start running black business. We got to be so nice to people, man. Agreed. We got to be over nice because it's already you already got so many obstacles against mm-hmm. you. And then it's like you want to add an attitude. On top of it, yeah. It's say 8 o'clock. Like, uh, look at Get Away. It's say 8 o'clock. Man, we got cheering. We got stuff to do, man. You're going to take whatever time I give you. <laughs> That's and you're going to be happy. I mean. I swear I'll be trying, y'all. I mean, we being overly nice. I greatly apologize about that. We'll make up for it, you guys. Some That's type no of problem. compensation. Yeah. That's right. Don't worry. Because you got to have some type of samples or something to give away. Yeah, we, we like samples. Man, I'm telling you, man. That's what I want to see. Black businesses with great attitudes. Like, just fight it, man. And guess what? As a black customer, we need to be better black customers. I agree. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going no black business and change no sticker, man, on the price. You know what I'm saying? Like that, like the, the police that did at Walmart in the, uh, in Denham. You seen that? I didn't see that. Even the police do that shit. Are you serious? Man, the police change tags. I'm going to be honest with you. I thought about it a couple times, but I was scared. You scared? I was scared. You got to do it with confidence. Mm-hmm. I mean, hold up. Wait, we, we uh-uh, live. Uh-uh, don't uh-uh. do it at all. <laughs> don't, do, don't listen. Don't listen to this. No. I, just, I thought I forgot the camera was, was on. That was a mistake. Don't steal, brother. The car, Look, stealing give me such a bad <laughs> karma. I have been reformed. Okay, so let me ask you this question. Do you feel like when you go to self-checkout, <laughs> that's... Stealing if yourself don't check out all the items. All right, this this I'm gonna tell you why I'm mad for real. I don't want to be fake on this damn thing, right? Being a reformed crook, criminal, right? I done stole before. I don't care about none of y'all what y'all think, but I'm changed. I'm changed, y'all. I, I figured it out. The Lord delivered me, man. I done got away with so much BS. I be telling people when you with me, man, don't do that stupid ass shit. Thanks. Cause I could just see me now. Getting jammed up at the door with a nigga with some two sticks of deodorant. <laughs> you might have to go to 
jail behind some degree. I'm going to buy it for you, man. I'm a petty. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to do no petty shit. I ain't Speaking of petty. Petty That's court. It. Petty court coming. Get your, get your cases in. Y'all it, don't want to miss this. You don't want to miss petty court, man. <laughs> and, and don't be scared of petty court, man. You know we only got three cases. So far. They scared of petty. I'm not going to do y'all nothing, man. All I'm going to do is hear the case, and we're going to figure out is he petty or is he petty or she petty. Whoever you you can bring your mom. I, one girl said, I want to bring my mama, but she's going to get mad. She'll be all right. We're going to have some snacks for her. Bring your mama. <laughs> bring your mama to petty court, man. Because a lot of stuff we be going through is because we be in petty situations. Agreed. Being petty about some bullshit. I'm just here to work it out, man, and tell one side you really being petty. And then you're going to get to see what the people think, which you shouldn't care, but we just trying to resolve conflict. We ain't trying to kick up no bull. And guess what? If it's criminal, you can't come. Okay. Ah. I agree. I agree with that. Civil and criminal. That's going to be too much. Uh-uh. No, I ain't trying to get nobody locked up. I have somebody that I would like to bring with the... Uh... <laughs> they, they, they not gonna come. They not gonna come. Mm-mm. That's what I'm trying. That's what we getting. We get like one side of cases where when we reach out to the other side, they just click, hang. They don't want to do nothing. I'm like, ooh, you really is petty. Yeah. You petty. The you don't want to be brother. Given. Yeah, that case there, it be open and shut when you do that. I work anything. I would almost anybody. Almost. Almost. Certainly. Emphasis on the almost. Yeah. Like, and, and, and I could forgive you. I just might not never fuck with you again. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it be like that sometimes. Yeah, I'm not holding on that shit, man. There's so much other shit we could be doing, man. Like, I, I can't wake up worried about the next nigga or what somebody else doing about the next chick. Or I got to, it's so much shit you got to do in a day to try to be successful. I don't even know how people be keeping up with everybody business like that. But that's how you know they are not trying to be successful and they aren't successful because you wouldn't have no time to invest in nobody else. Mm-hmm. You're too busy building on your own. Yeah. For real, man. I, I, unless you find a way to monetize hate. I don't think. <laughs> I, I don't see it. I don't know, because I just thought of this, Bob. It's not many people. It's not a a, a, a a plethora of real people in the world, right? Mm-hmm. So you know they got they got more haters than real niggas. Would you agree? Yeah, yes. So that means there's an audience for you niggas. So if one big hater... Jump out on the porch and say this the hate show, and he, he, they just hate everything that it's gonna be a few real niggas be like, man, y'all a bunch of haters, but they gonna they gonna get on his ass. The internet gonna yeah. always win. Yeah, I know not to go into that fight. That's like me running the Trump rally. Yeah, it's a losing battle. Don't even worry about it. You know what I'm saying, man? I can't run in no Trump rally by myself, man. You wouldn't want to. That, 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 one gun ain't enough to go in the Trump rally. <laughs> Tell them I'm sticked up. Nigga, all them races in that mug. Sit down. Man. Just sit down. Boy, they can't wait to nigger. Get on the get the <laughs> <laughs> Lynch mob. I'm telling you, to all the haters out there, even if you're a getaways hater, go make a fuck getaways page. Mm. Instead of reporting this bitch so much, you know what I'm saying? Go make a I hate this nigga page and just be proud of who you really are. Because, see, y'all be hating and trying to cover it up. Start asking niggas, why you don't like that woman? I'm going to go follow the page. Why you don't like that lady? Why you don't like that man? Man, nah, what happened? It's not legitimate. What, what is the real reason? Man, I'm fucking with that box. Say, bro, anybody that don't like you, that I want to hear why. i wait. You heard me? Because sometimes the rumors are passed by, and people will catch the rumor, but they don't never seek the truth. Facts. They and then believe. The bad side. The truth came out, but this nigga heard the rumor, but they ain't hear when the truth came out. Mm-hmm. And guess what? The nigga who know the truth came out ain't going to say, I'm sorry, man. We had dude bad. We had old girl bad, man. I want to apologize. That shit that came out wasn't true on old girl. Uh, This, this, and that. Nobody do that. Hell no, they not going to do that. That's too much like right. Mm-hmm. It's way easier to go with the lie. Yeah, yeah. But you know what the biggest blessing is? When everybody turn on you. Watch for the ones that stick by you. Them your true friends. That's it. Yeah, you can't turn me on this motherfucker. They raped somebody. They, they What they did, they hurt some children or some old people. Did they snitch? Facts. See, if people take the side of real, we'll have less problems. Don't take it up because of your family, because of your homie, because of your friends. 
Take the side of the truth and Fake. stand. You ain't never got to pick a side when you when stand you on the side truth. of real. Because some of my homies done did some, some bitch ass shit before. Mm. Even I have done some unsavory things, but I've done things that I can come back from. Let's just be real. I ain't trying to make it better on me. I done did some messed up shit. And guess what? I stood on it. I did that. You have to. When you're mm-hmm. a real person, you have to stand on your conscience on your life. Like, you know that was some whole ass shit you did. Man, you got to check yourself. You know you was down bad for that. I ain't had to do that man like that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, it's some women. I, man, I ain't had to do that woman like that. I'm light-skinned. I was a big old cheater. Oof. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Nobody. I'm sorry. Hit you with the blick. Nobody hit me with the blick. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. I don't care what they say about me in the streets. Women been handle me like a bitch ass nigga, boy. I'm telling. They have some of those too. It's no exception for them. It's it's. They have some of them. Man, I can't get a nigga to talk to me how some of these women mm-hmm. talk to me, man. These women are the niggas. Them women is the niggas, man. What, what's going on with that box? They no limit soldiers. <laughs> I thought I told you. These motherfuckers got hard heads on. All the women working and the niggas at home playing the game. Yeah, one of my friends, I call her Mia X, because she definitely a part of the No Limit Soldiers. Oh, my God. Uh-huh. Not, not our dog, huh? Yeah. Uh, you talking about Gabby? No, but she wanted Gabby, them No Gabby Limit Soldiers. Gabby wanted them No Limit Soldiers, she too. She definitely, she wanted them. Gabby, Gabby. <laughs> I she, love Gabby. She wanted them. Gabby get in the car. It, yeah. If she, we go over with... <laughs> She would. Man, I call <laughs> Gabby right now. Trudy talking about me. Yeah, you Mia X. That's definitely you. <laughs> oh, Trudy Mia. <laughs> the biggest mama Mia. <laughs> Laughing. Look, how you know you Mia X? <laughs> That's crazy, man. I can't wait till this cycle over with with these soft, uh, emotional men that'll break down and whine and cry. These niggas throw tantrums. They do. I'm talking about grown men. I ain't talking about little boys. Throw a whole tantrum and just be tripping out, right? And then the women like, nigga, get the fuck up. Yeah, say it with your chest. I'm like, I'm looking at the shit. It look weird. It look backwards. The roles have been reversed. Man, I don't like it. <clears throat> I don't like it either. And then they always say, but well, women are too hard now. In a lot of situations, women didn't have a choice but to adapt and, and be hard like mm-hmm. that. Because a lot of you bitch ass niggas didn't do what you were supposed to be doing. So then we had to put on y'all pants. Yeah, my mama, man. I already know my mama. My mama was a nigga. Mm-hmm. She's a, she's mm-hmm. a straight dude. <laughs> <laughs> she took that single parent shit too hard. You ain't had to be my daddy too, dog. Ain't nobody asked you for that. You could have found somebody to be a positive male model. But I'm telling you, it's a shortage of that too because everybody in jail. I agree. I don't want to smell feet. I don't want to go around niggas, man. No I changed my whole life. No, man. There ain't no life for no brother. That's for sex offenders. I agree. That's where they got to go. Go hang. You like touching people and not taking shit that ain't yours. You need go to go in jail. Yeah, yeah you go in jail. Go now you either go. <laughs> you can either turn to the booty warrior. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> but at least it's fair playing ground. We all grown Dang. men. You know what I'm saying? Tell the motherfucker, you take this motherfucker, you have it, bitch ass nigga. Run up, man. God damn it. You out here playing with cheering and I can't stand sex offenders. Me I, 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 Man, God gonna have to deliver me from that too. <clears throat> you know, I got daughters, I got a mama. You, look at my friends. I got female friends that I love, man. I, I don't man, I don't want nobody doing it. I don't understand it and I ain't trying to. It's just one of them things like, dog, you fucked up, man. Yeah. You fucked up. You feeling like that nigga, go get some help before you touch somebody's child. I agree. It's, it's too many women out here that's just giving it away. Mm-hmm. For little or nothing. <laughs> and you want to go and touch somebody that unwillingly, how does that turn you on when somebody does not want to interact with you like that? How, mm-hmm. how you get aroused from that? Man, me personally, bro, this is my advice to any... To the ones that want to uh, take stuff from grown women, just go get some money, bro. You can buy that shit. Nah, nah, it, it, it ain't easy like that, and you might be scared, but nigga, it's, what's worse? Taking the shit, going to jail, or getting caught in the sting, nigga? Huh? Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Fuck it. Pick you know, your battle. Look, look, let me change the whole stigma if you get caught in the sting. If you get caught in the sting, say, man, this is my last resort because I'm finna take the shit. You know what I'm gonna say? I respect I that, respect dog. It. I respect that. You were trying to pay for it. You know what I'm saying? I, I respect Go it. ahead, bro. That's way better. Now, it look bad on the news. It, 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 it do. But that's way better than stealing it, man. Yeah. 
Yeah, man, don't steal that shit, man. Don't steal that at all, man. Get you, it's, it's other ways to do things, brother. We got to get some morals out here, man. For real, Bob. I agree. Shit bad, bro. I, I already know why a lot of it's bad. You know what our motto is. Free to what? Free to money, man. Okay. Let the money go. And look, let's 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 dibble on this too. <clears throat> Did you see the story where the, the kids had to escape? Yes. That that messed me up. That's there. a different type of sick. Yeah, you know, it's a lot of people. I went on her Instagram. I went, you know, that's the kind of nigga I am. I wanna see how normal was she acting. That's like the girl in New Orleans who killed one of her cheering on. Did the other child make it? The other child was hanging on for life. Mm-hmm. Because she was beefing with the baby daddy. That's that's really weird. As that's a weird father, too. that's scary. It's so many people. Niggas worry about the nigga that's acting crazy. What about the crazy people that's acting sane? Normal, exactly. Those are the ones we need to be alarmed about. Yeah. They, they focused on the ones that's really acting crazy. Yeah. Look, I'm going to tell y'all right now. All my family, man, if I get to talking out of my head and tripping... Go ahead and call them people on me. Commit my dumb ass. Look, give me my jacket with the long sleeve. Mm-hmm. Tie that bitch up and bring me where you got to bring me, man. Yeah, we gonna call the lady. Yeah, call. I, look, I'm not tripping on none of that shit. I be needing a little break. Fuck it. Do they still make mojo? Because a lot of people be oh, acting like they smoke it. Yeah, that shit ain't going nowhere. <laughs> they really still make that? Mojo ain't going nowhere. It's just, uh, it's, it's prevalent somewhere else. Not as much in the streets. It, it bleeds off into the streets, but they got a place where Mojo is, is beautiful. And we ain't gonna speak on it. Okay. If you know, you know. Be quiet in the comments, man. They know. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what you, you said? I can't see what you said. It's far, huh? Something Jeffrey. Jeffrey I'm Dahmer? Jeffrey. Probably talking about him. Sick ass. Man, I'm telling, man. And, bro, I'm talking about. People be worried about the, the, the one ah, all the loud, crazy people who show they crazy. That that's just a, a character. That's a, that's personality. Mm-hmm. Be afraid of the motherfucker that smile right, that take perfect pictures, that paint their life beautiful, that look everything looks perfect. But deep down inside, some of these psychotic motherfuckers got a dungeon and locking their kids up, harming children. Your family got to, if you know your fucking people crazy, I'm sorry, man. You've been new. Yeah. You've been new. You've been saw the signs. You just didn't want to make it your business. But when your crazy ass people end up on the news, you want to come run, defend them online. Well. Get your stupid ass yeah. over there to your people house and, some, and commit, man, commit one of them, man. That ain't snitching. Well, I have one crazy family member that I never told nobody I was kin to except Trudy the other day. Mm-hmm. Cause I wasn't finna, I, I wasn't finna get on live and defend his ass. He been crazy. Yeah, I'm Derek, not, I'm not Derek, either. Derek. Yeah. Derek, Derek, Charlie, you really. That's your cousin. Yeah. Oh Lord, Bob. Yeah, you can't. Now you know what? You'll be a fake ass nigga get up there and defend your cousin, him. man. Slim his ass. I'm not yeah, kidding. that's I'm how I feel. Kidding. I'm sorry. Look, I love my people, but not enough for what they doing. People oh, like that. Oh no, oh no. I'm not a fan of defending that. But he, he, the crazy. He's been like that. No. He, he really been like that. He really been dark and psychotic his whole life. That he never saw stuff regular people seen. Like he was the Michael Myers of real life. And the family just like, <laughs> don't don't mind Derek. No, we all stayed the fuck away from him because <laughs> we know he'll kill us oh. in our sleep. What the? <laughs> but you yeah. see, see, you not not now. Let's be, let's have a real moment. Nigga should have called in on his head. Ben, man, I'm telling y'all right now. If I start talking out my head, if I come out here, if I just get the tripping, man, call on me, dog. I might need to go lay down for a second, man. A second? Yeah, 72 hours. Keep him in there, baby. It's safer with him off these people's streets. Keep him in there. Man, bro. And, and you know, I ain't really one to blame parents because you can't control your kids. Right now, I ain't with mine. I don't know what the fuck they doing. I can't do nothing but teach the motherfucker. My mama never taught me the streets. Mm-hmm. She just gave me a Bible verse of why I shouldn't be doing why I'm, what right, I'm doing. Right, 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 right. <clears throat> but I did what I wanted to do. But I also understand that you got to be a certain type of parent to keep fighting those type of mm-hmm. things. That's like, man, man, it's bad. But like people, children, they, they fatherless, right? They more influenced by their peers and by rappers. Than their parents. Than their parents. And then the iPads are raising the new generation. Yeah, hell yeah, they raising them. You know what I do? 
I watched that, them YouTube shows my son be watching. He was watching like GTV a lot, right? My daughter now all they be watching GTV. So it's, it's a cool, cool white family, right? But I be challenging them. I'm like, man, ain't got no black families doing it. I, I just right. want not, not racist. I just want to see what's the difference. Yeah, cause. You keep telling me let's go to Disneyland every week, nigga. That shit expensive. They be thinking that you could just do stuff on a dime. Let's go to Legoland this Friday. I will buy you some Legos and you can go up there and build a land. <laughs> you got a better chance getting three, four hundred dollars worth of Legos. Big facts. Yeah, I got to plan that shit out. I got to see when I work. I got to, you know, I got shit to do. So, <clears throat> being that we on the subject about children, I have a question. Talk to me. And I hear multiple people talking about it, so I'm just going to ask. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about your significant other disciplining your children? Uh, I, I don't know if I'm right. I'm not saying I'm right or how I feel. This is how I feel. I <clears throat> I try to always do how I want people to do me. Mm-hmm. I don't hit nobody else. You know. Now, if you try try to hit me, you know what I'm saying. I might push the nigga make, down make. Or, or grab. <laughs> you know, you know, like if they out of control, I'm yeah. going. I'm going. <clears throat> I'm going to treat your child how I want you to treat mine. So when it comes to that, I lean on my girl. Yeah. If it ain't my child, hey, man, you see what he's doing. I'm going to get on her ass. With my child, I demand you respect my, my significant other. Facts. As if you, you have a problem with her, you a child. Stay in a child's place. Come tell Let an adult. Handle that. And I'm going to handle her. Mm-hmm. Vice, vice versa. And I also tell her, like, man, when you go around Mr. Such and Such, Respect him. If you have any problems out of him, come tell Call me. me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go there and whoop him up. But it depends on what it is because I might whoop your ass if yeah, you're wrong. Yeah, because children be lying. Children be playing games. And then, like, these new children, is they're advanced. They manipulate yeah. him. <clears throat> my, my son be messing up. My son's so smart, he'll accidentally show you sometimes. Mm-hmm. He reading now. You know what I'm saying? His reading level strong. He, he knows syllables. He be trying to find big words and stuff, mm. you know. And so uh, you, you show me you super intelligent. Then when you get in trouble, you do this. Huh? You act like you don't know. Um, yeah. Um, no. Um, <laughs> no. Um, no do that. Yeah. Get, super smart. Get your ass. You just showed me you were yeah. smart. You got straight A. You, you, you was in that closet doing calculus. When now I you was can't think. texting a nigga, you was in my business. Yeah. Read the whole. Oh, you know all that, huh? You know too much until your ass in trouble. Mm-hmm. See these new kids so damn smart. You gotta stay on them. Yeah. You gotta. It's a mind thing. I, you know what I realized too, Bob? I got. I'm old with old kids, and I got new, brand new babies. Right. They different. Man, that whooping shit don't work. It don't. Honestly, it don't work. <laughs> All they gonna do is shake it off like, oh, a whooping. Okay, what's next? It just don't. like jail don't work. If jail work, why is crime worse? They going to jail and coming out doing it again. They just getting smarter. Man, nigga, just that's just like whoopings. When I used to catch whoopings, I found out how to take them. Yeah. But see, when you punish me, I'm like, damn, the whooping was like a pain for a second, and then it's over. And now it's over. And now I'm back to being bad. Yeah. Now, now I'm mad, and I'm about to get your ass back for giving me a whooping. And I'm about to give you a reason. Now both of us going to be mad. Yeah. So how you feel about, you know, I don't do stepchildren. If I'm fucking with you, then my mine. kids. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't. I don't believe in that. Ain't no step. I'm going to step when it comes to them children. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? All of them. And, and if they got... Uh, four children there, and there ain't number three piece of candy. Ain't nobody getting them. I agree with oh, you. I'm going to get I'm one more piece. I, I don't like all that. I, I believe in, man, children ain't asked to come here. Mm-hmm. All the nasty behind brought them here. So guess what? We got to do the best thing and try to train them as best as we could at the level we at. Yeah. Because when I had my first kids, I was ratchet, tore up as a mother. Every little thing. Stop that. I used to whoop them. You know, pop, pop, little, any little. Mm-hmm. Stop that. And rough with them. And being rough with them now, nah, I got some, just some tough ass grown kids, man. A part of the no limit soldiers. They no limit soldiers too. They 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 tough. You know they they even heartless at times. I'm like, damn. Now I'm getting all old and soft, and I want. Mm-hmm. They don't even know nothing about that. I used to always tell them I love them though. Like they'll see yeah. that that gangster, but I always tell them I love them. And, I go play with them. I always got to I don't never believe in putting that gangster shit out at all times. Right. That shit for serving the situation. That's like right now, why should I be acting hard? Why why would you? On a podcast. You know what I'm saying? What do you what are you getting out of it? No, no, I nothing. That's insecurity though. Yeah. If I gotta show you I'm gangster every day, 
I'm insecure about it. Trying to cover up something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, see, you supposed to walk around every day like, you know, hey, man, good morning. How y'all doing? Mm-hmm. Speak to the old folk. Hey, good morning, ma'am. How you doing? You need some help? Sow your good seeds. Nah, if something come across your desk, the reaction. See, I done, I done got more educated, too, though. I'm a little smaller. Mm-hmm. So if I see a nigga just, a nigga could fly off on me right now. I'm really going to analyze him like, what's the Maybe driving factor? Going on. I'm so paranoid. The nigga in front of me gonna make me look around like, Anybody what is he trying to distract me from? Mm-hmm. What's he? What is he doing? Is somebody behind me? Mm-hmm. Used to be like what? Yeah. And straight on him, but now I know something is bigger. Something bigger. Who sent you? That's and, always my question. And I'm 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 messed up. We finna have a conversation. Cause talk is cheap, Bob. Talk is cheap. I learned to ignore the, the internet. You have to because you can't reply to every single person on the internet. Everybody's not going to agree with you. You're not going to be everybody's cup of tea. Man, the internet will have you thinking. You go outside and it's a bunch of hate. But when I hit the streets, it's, it's all the people it's, like, it's love. thank you. Keep doing what you're doing. Like, that's all I get when I go outside. Mm-hmm. Man, I went to Crowley to the Rice Festival. Man, I got invited out there by one of the uh, somebody running for council. Uh, Christopher George Senior. He actually number one eighteen, like Miss Pam uh, Johnson. I'm, I'm on. I'm, I'm doing her thing too. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm doing the marketing and promotion for. They both one eighteen. Just, just my luck. And uh, man, Crowley treated me so good. Like I, I got a tour of the hood. Mm. Yeah, you know. Man, shout out to Cass, man. He picked me up, brought me around the hood, man. Just was beautiful, man. And I, you know, I don't want to put him in all my business, but I went and seen some. Some hidden gems, you know what I'm saying? Okay. I went to the hood store. Oh, we. Yeah, That's man. That's the good stuff. They sell Master P and little Boosie Chips at, you know what I'm saying? Them, them Boosie Chips are good. And I got to go on the, the downtown by, by the, you know, upstanding. The corporates. The corporates. I, you know, I, I saw both sides with the council member and with the nigga. I love that, man. They, but they show so much love. I'm so fucked up from BR. It made me like, man, is this real? I was <laughs> trying to get, they thought they was about to get you, huh? But it felt too good. I'm like, man, this is beautiful. Is this real? You know what I'm saying? And I'm telling you, you can't. That internet shit, you really got to pimp the internet. Like right now, that's why I turned my shit the other way. I don't care what nobody's saying on your shit. Nobody saying. You <laughs> came here. Anyway. They came here to watch this. Ain't nobody made. Nobody come in and watch this. Right or wrong? Right. So whatever you feel, this is how you feel. Man, I can't do nothing about that. Take it to trial. <laughs> <laughs> I take it to Petty Court, man. <laughs> Petty Court gonna pop off in a couple weeks, y'all. I gotta talk to my team, man. I was ready. You see the little backdrop? And, yeah, I was ready for Petty Court. Yeah, man. y'all. It's, it's gonna be Petty Court gonna be lit. Everybody it's, ready, man. This the Black Mari version. Yeah, this the. Yeah, this the Black Mari. Well, yeah, yeah I, see, I like shit that ain't governed. We can say what we want, we can do yeah. what we want. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm like the 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 judge math this time team. You a crackhead? You a crackhead? I know a crackhead. I know I know a crackhead. Man, I love him. <laughs> For real, man. Let's do the word of the day. Okay. Uh, the word of the day is magnanimous. Mag- magnanimous. Magnanimous. And the definition of magnanimous is generous or forgiving, especially towards a rival or less powerful person. Wow, that sounds like something that need to be in the Bible. That need to be in the Bible. And how do we pronounce that again? Um, magnanimous. Magnanimous. I would like to add it to my vocabulary, but I gotta say it to myself a, a couple times. times first. Then write it down. Me, I can see me messing that word up. Yeah, I could mess that one up. Magnanimous. Uh-huh. Um, I'm gonna use it in a sentiment, a sentiment, a sentiment, a sentiment, a sentiment, what? A sentence. I'm finna use it in a sentence. It. Don't even worry about it. Look, this, <laughs> them big words get to get the nigga tongue twisted. Now it's not 49, 50, 50. <laughs> <laughs> Magnanimous. All right. Uh, I'm gonna use they sentence. She should be magnanimous in victory. Mm. Mm. Well, it sounds like being bigger. Yeah. I know I can fuck over you. I know I could tear your life up. Yeah. But I'm going to forgive you. It just really is giving me Bible. Thou shall be magnanimous towards thy enemy. Come on, pastor. In the dog. sight of the Lord. Oh, my God. I knew you knew a little scripture, too. <laughs> <laughs> Tell Dana, Dana, I got a good replacement. <laughs> good substitute for the day. 
Now, Bach, man, you need to tell people we got we working on some shows with you too. They coming. You do so much, we don't even know what to do with you. Baby D, baby, we going to do everything with me. Yeah, you really, feet, baby D. That's where we, that's where we going. See a dope dude here, baby, see how to say how. <laughs> Show do, baby, and the police pull up and be wanting a plate. Want a plate? Watch these babies for me. That's it. Man, I went to one of your spots at war. It was real daycare, cooking. She cooked, she cleaned, that would smell like onion ring. I'm like, man, that girl be getting it, man. <laughs> and, and I'm going to tell y'all do something. Man... Messing with us, messing with any woman with cheering. What you think the bottom dollar is on that box? I'll be saying twenty five to thirty five hundred. I think that's the minimum. I think that's you know a month. Yeah, I think that's minimal. I, I know when I got man. Look, my girl. Without being extra, I'm not talking about purses, just clothes. Real, I, I'm talking real about life. just real life. Messing with female dog, you gotta have like thirty five hundred a month. So if you <laughs> made three fifty this month and you spent three hundred on weed, you in the wrong spot. You in the wrong bracket. <laughs> Don't ever come back by here. Ever, 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 come by here. You still got that forty dollars shit going on. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So take your little 40. Take that little 40 and go and on on. Don't, don't mean, this is just my opinion, man. Because, like, and nigga be hollering about, I ain't tricking, I ain't no. No, you're going to spend some money if you fucking with women. Listen, even my daddy said this in church. One way or another, you paying for something. Mm, the pastor said it. Yeah. Yeah. He, he made a point when he was like, women, don't think that y'all sliding because if you brought that man something, you pay for it. Yeah. You you pay for y'all to go to dinner, you pay for it. Yeah. You took him on a trip. And guess what? If you're a righteous woman and a nigga be willing to pay for everything, what's wrong with you catching it? Call me Soldier Slim, baby. Yeah, I'm I step, pay for <laughs> I'm going to step behind mine. <laughs> yeah. By mine. Yeah, man. You see, selfish people, man. It's a lot of selfish people out there. And I'm going to tell you what's even worse than being with one girl I had to find out. See, when you dating a lot as a man, See, I'm, 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 I'm not holding back. I want to see what you're going to do. I want to take you somewhere nice, and I want to take you somewhere hood. Mm-hmm, to see how you adapt in either yeah. environment. I want to do Sullivan's and Blue Stove. Baby, I love the Blue Stove. Get the <laughs> car up. Let's go. I need to see how you act in the hood. Yeah, I, I like still Sullivan be in the hood. Too, but I love the Blue Stove. Yeah, that Blue Stove chicken and mug, man. I'm telling you. But I'm telling you, that's what I do. I like the And then sometimes, like, I like the women who be asking for money. Cause what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just give it to her, and I'm gonna see how many how times she, she ain't ain't. Yeah, and then I'm just watching. Mm-hmm. You know, and I ain't gonna ask you for nothing. I ain't gonna try to do nothing with you. You feel what I'm saying? But I just be liking to see, man. That's what I do with my money. I let money gauge people with me. Yeah. You know, even with niggas, nigga come around and try to get up under you. You know, I ain't gonna hold back. Depend on what's around, nigga. I might give it all to you. But I'm really watching your mood. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Money come and go. But good, real people, they rare. That's fact. So I like testing everything around me. I don't mind. Oh, oh, oh you, you ran into a hard spot? You need some help? Pop. Pop them all. And I ain't going to ask you for that. Because mm-hmm. if you're righteous you, and you're really trying to change, I ain't got to ask. I ain't got to ask. And then I'm going to watch when you get money. See how you act then. Yeah, I see seven, 800 on you. You ain't never you ain't gonna even try to give me that 350 back. Nope. Guess what? You a gold digging ass nigga, just like them hoes. Man, listen. They said that I was bashing men when I said it, but I said it and I'm gonna stick beside it. You men that wanna hang up under men with money <laughs> ain't no better than the women. You call him big brother, but you really want the same thing. You want some meat. Yeah. That's what it's giving. Yeah, but no, you know, a gold digger, they really don't want to pop it off. They don't want the yeah. meat. They want the money. Them but niggas saying, just like them gold digging and they holes. Be looking just, they be looking just right. Guess what? So <laughs> if it's required that they got to take that ride, my nigga, you want some money, you need to take that ride. Hey, nigga with money better watch out because one of them niggas might be ready to give yeah. some booty. I got to get that some nigga to fuck around me. Yeah. <laughs> Say, bro, <laughs> I don't rock like that, Say, dog. my guy. For real, man. Hey, I, 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 I like when people owe me because that get they funk ass from around me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, anybody I owe, I'm going to pay. Yeah, me too. I don't like to owe nobody. I don't, I don't like nothing over my head. You might get it slow. You might get it fast. But I guarantee you, when that bitch hit my hand. You going to get it. You been in my mind forever. I don't care if I've been broke for three years. 
three years later, here you go, your money. Yeah, you might be mad at me, but I bet I give you fucking money back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, fuck it. You ain't got to fuck with me no more, but get what I paid you, and I need that on my soul. That's facts. Yeah, that's all I need. I yeah, did, be I mad, did what bitch. what I was supposed to do. Because back in the gap, I told you, fuck you, bitch. You got an attitude. Do something Woo, about it. thank God for change. Yeah, yeah, man. I'll, I'll tell you what. Come get it. Come get it. In come get it. Come get it, man. You bad. Come get it. Man, come get the motherfucker. I got it for you. It's something about adding the you bad. Come get it. That makes it more intense. You have to say you man, bad. I want the fool to pull up. I used to want the fool to pull up. I make it light. Oh, come get it. Yeah, come, come on. Get it. Come on over here. It's over here. It's all over here. It's all there. <laughs> it's all there like it's Jesus. It's all there. Yeah, man. But that, you know, man, a lot of time that get a nigga out your mix and then like <clears throat> it show the morals. Even when you all uh, loan female money. Mm-hmm. Man, don't call that bitch for that little chain. I wish I would. Uh-uh. Because get what? Now she can't come ask again. You owe me $35. Then you're going to put your head down when you see me. Yeah, I'm gonna say, hey, how you doing? Hey, you remember? Okay, okay. Don't worry about it. Man, I'm not even giving no hint. Yeah, you right. Don't give him no hint, bro. This ain't bro. no blues clues. Because guess what you just did? You saved yourself from having to help a nigga again. A leech. Because a lot of times, the ones who be helping a lot, I done seen you do it. I'm gonna speak, I'm gonna vouch on that. You help a motherfucker when you up and when you down. Facts. You just like me. That's why I fuck with you. That's just who I am. Niggas in jail. If I'm up, 200 if i'm down 20 i still send a little 20 either way it go you still send something. i'm gonna send something man you know why and i don't owe you nothing you don't owe me nothing nigga don't be in jail like you owe me niggas be getting the hookups on the belts and shit trying to send me man i don't, I don't keep tab homie Facts. and then it's a difference when you ask me to borrow money when i just send you money because because of what it is that's why i pay my tithes at mm-hmm. on cord links on jpay as soon as i get a little bread I try to put my 10% in jail. Because they need it. Yeah. And I don't fuck with them niggas who be gambling and and, and trying to... I'll be sending a couple cash apps here and there when they be on they, you know, yeah. But, man, too much of that, man. You doing too much. Because really, yeah. I know niggas you do that one time for them niggas eat forever. They gon', yeah. I, Some feel obligated after that. Man, my dog home right now, man. That nigga sent me $500 from the feed. Mm. Well, I'll be. And get what? I put my head down. Damn. This nigga really sent me money. I had to check myself. <laughs> Self? I fall back and, and, and get in my little shell so much. I'm like, dog, I had to get my, my nigga from jail from the feds sent me five hundred. Facts. And what the fuck am I doing? Two legs, two hands, and free. And free. And get what? I swear to God, Bob, I ain't look back. I ain't look back. Man, you remember that nigga sent me that shit when I was by mom. Mm-hmm. And get what? Your head up. That nigga turn my light on. And I ain't look back. Yeah, Not I tried to send a nigga the money back. I don't want that fucking money. That nigga so, man, they come, man, nigga, man, nigga different, man. I got a bunch of partners that's just different. I know nigga paying bills from jail. Whew. I be trying to make a nigga feel bad who ain't doing nothing. So you be like, man, you fuck Domino. But then you go hustle. Mm-hmm. And you turn to a you new man. And then you start spending money. You start taking care of your children and your, and your, and your girl and your mama. Your grandma got a hole in the floor, and you can just go over there and pay them crackheads that we trust. <laughs> you hear me? I ain't fake big mama shit, man. Ain't Same nobody thing when I boy. love me a crackhead. Man, ain't nothing like so a crackhead, John. Nothing King. like it. What the fuck wrong with him, man? <laughs> I love me a crackhead. Yeah, hey, I'm telling you, Bob. But, <clears throat> you know, this been a cool little show, man, just sitting there running it, Pretty man. Cool. For real, for real, man. Look, man, I, I got to figure out how to get our live back, man. Like, I really need an Instagram lawyer. An Instagram lawyer. Your live be getting blocked? Yeah. For what? And then when they block me, they don't tell me how long I'm blocked. They just block me and then until they feel like unblocking me. Sometimes it be 90 days. Sometimes it be six months. I done been blocked for six months before. I don't know what's next because I can't get jiggy with TikTok. I can't catch on. Like, I go on TikTok and I be like, I don't know. It's like a block. My TikTok jumping like Pogo. Man, bro. I don't know how to... I don't know how to get into it. Like I, don't, I can get on Instagram and I know exactly what to do. I know my people. I know, mm-hmm. I know, I know exactly what to say. I know exactly what the teachers like. The Lord just bless me with the sermon. Somebody need this. Here you go. You know, talk about your struggle. Talk about what you went through. Mm-hmm. You know, teach somebody. Ain't everybody want to be impressive, nigga? Show you, show your hard time. Yeah. Show what you struggle with. Hard times do a major. Yeah, man. That's what I be saying. But I'm telling you, like, tick. I can't. 
I get on TikTok and be like, what am I? But it's the same thing. I know. It's the same thing. And I'm telling you, I, I really do feel like you have more engagement on TikTok than Instagram. My my TikTok lives be having over a thousand people on it. And when can I go live? How many? You, you can go live whenever. I don't even think they have a cap. But okay. you know, we have a cap on here. Everything cap on here. Yeah. Like both ways. And the people. And the people cap. They too. <clears throat> I don't follow no nigga I don't like. Why would you do that? I don't go checking. Why would you do that? That's weird. It be niggas bringing me, you know, like, oh, check this bitch ass. I don't Mm. I, I'm not interested in it. <laughs> I don't want to talk about no rat. I don't want to talk about no bitch ass nigga. I don't want. I ain't interested. I don't want to talk about no rapists and what they doing. No sex offender. Like, yeah. what the money? Huh? That's why I want to go where the money resides. Man, what the money at? Man, y'all be going on people page. They like, they got women that come on your page just to say and look crazy at you. Yeah, I could just see it right now. Somebody laying in the door. I don't like her. Screenshot my picture, zooming in on my legs and saying, I knew they was crooked. <laughs> it's something about this bitch I knew I didn't like, and it's her legs. <laughs> but what they got to realize is, they got a, man, I got a partner, man. That nigga like flat booty white girls. Really? Man, there's somebody out there that will love you. Look at my ugly ass. I ain't never been without nothing. And Bay ready to shoot something. Man, Bay ain't gonna play about me, man. That's my baby. <laughs> Bay gonna be ready to shoot something. That thing crazy. I love it though. Shit. Say, bro, I'm telling you. Somebody gonna love it. Facts. The shit you hate about yourself, they got a nigga be like, man, you crooked leg mama. Y'all always be talking about my stomach again, but that ain't that. Man, nigga eat oatmeal pies. They like they like snacks. <laughs> they like snacks, baby. Bach, your shit ain't bad. Women, why y'all so hard on y'all self, man? It's it's just it's just us. I don't know. The men don't care. I want to tell you, men don't care. They don't be care. caring. They don't be caring. Like, I used to be self-conscious, so self-conscious about my stomach, but see, now, huh, I'm going to put this pie in whatever clothes it goes in. <laughs> you going to take whatever I pull out? I got a partner. He, he, he like him around 250, 300. Really? Yeah. More cushion for the pushing, man. Man, he do push-ups to pick up big girls. Ooh. We. Yeah, and, and and then like he tried the other man, he'd get around you back and just look at you. You wouldn't even get no attention from the nigga. You're like, damn, what's up with this? It'll be, be finally like one nigga get around. He might look at your booty because he's still a man, but he, 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 he see see boy, he looking for something with that weight on. Mm-hmm. Somebody for everybody. Yeah, man. I'm telling you, man. I see. I done been skinny. I done been slim, swole. And then I got fat and I thought I was gonna fall off. Here come all Rick Ross bitches. I'm like, dang, I got the big the big boy uh girls come through. It's your season now, baby. DJ it's Kelly. Get cold outside. Oh yeah, it's gonna be frosted, man. Frosted. Man, we started late. I don't know how how deep we into this, man. You remember what time we started? <clears throat> uh, how about 8:20? About 8:20. About I think you know the live gonna cut off too. Yeah, when we it's, get it's, there. it's gonna cut off in a second. Yeah. Well, check this out, man. Right. We, you want to go ahead and wrap? You got anything else you want to add? I appreciate you for coming through. Of course you know I'm coming. And look, get away. Y'all go on get away and let people know how y'all felt about Bach on the show, man. I call her Bach. My bad. They don't nobody know that. They don't me. know about Bach. Shay Marie. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Tell them where they can find you at. We need y'all input. Y'all can find me on any social media platform. The same thing. Shay Marie underscore the number two, the letter U. If you know, you know. And if you don't know, let me say it again. Shay Marie the letter, the number two, the letter U. Hey, I ain't hard to find, baby. She she being calling today. This nigga Joe's all day, son. Yeah, all day. She Joe's go on a page right now. I guarantee all day. you. Need a good laugh, man. This the lady that did the funeral. Uh, to me, man, you turned that whole little challenge. Man, up. listen, I just was saying this morning, <laughs> early this morning, I want to do one. Where I'm at my own funeral and my thoughts going through my head when other people come to view my body at the funeral. No, you know what? We're going we gonna to shoot. I'm going to shoot it for you. We're going to turn you to a ghost. <laughs> and then we're going to put your body in the casket, yeah. right? And then we're going to put your ghost right behind and you're going to be just sitting up there looking. Yeah. My dude looking. over my dude over the casket, one of my homegirls on his shoulder, like, she would want you to be happy. Mm-hmm. Bitch, I'm finna kill both of y'all. Because <laughs> no, I would not. No, I hey, would not. Hey, what if when you die, God just let you sit at your funeral and that's how you get in? Get in this casket with me. I don't want you to be happy. <laughs> I want you to come too. We finna go to the crossroads. That's get in you, here. That's what you're telling your nigga? Yeah, get in here. <laughs> Ain't no be happy after this. It's we both finna go. Candace says she don't want Todd messing with nobody after this. Period. Her. Well, no, she said, and I'm a, now I won't lie on, she said, don't marry. 
She don't, she don't want, want no bitch. Marry. She don't want no bitch getting mad says they built. Baby, well, what what you gonna do with him? You finna be a corpse. She don't care. She worked hard for that while she was living. Baby, you you out of here. That's petty, but I like it though. It's I respect petty. it. She ain't nobody help him. Them hoes ain't help him make it. I agree. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Yeah, y'all. I, I can't wait to be sitting at my funeral. This nigga still. We're gonna shoot that skit for real. I know, I know how we gotta do it too. I got one thing. I know what I gotta do. I gotta shoot you on green screen, mm-hmm. and then turn your your what you call it to go. Then like finally the the other stuff. I think I know where they got a casket at too. It's like a uh, I got this little spot that got like set up. It's like sets, like they got an airplane cockpit. Okay. It's raw. It just costs a little something, but it's worth it. The skit gonna be worth it. Okay. We're gonna put that one together for I'm, you. I'm, I'm with it. Yeah, yeah. Just don't close it because I don't know my game <laughs> like. Ooh. Nah, I ain't playing no games. I ain't no on no, no ass and cut your Ooh, shit. Lord, don't. Oof. Well, uh, man, shout out to Big Nina too, man. She she out of town getting it, man. We love it. We, we love, love it, man. It. We Dana. love to see it, Big Dana. You know, Dana. I love it down for you, P O P. P O P, Dana. You already know what it is, man. We would like to thank y'all for tuning in to the Ghetto Ways Morning Show. I'm your host Johnny Domino and my special guest host today, Shay Marie. Tell them one more time where they can find you. At Shay Marie underscore the number two, the letter U. All right, and make sure you follow us on YouTube. This episode will be out in a couple weeks. They stagger on and they come on out, man. We appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. Next time. <laughs>